Meissner here again. This time uh, I'm uh, making a little fix uh, on my wife's car. <laughs> uh, it is a common problem uh, with the Audi A8, A6, uh, everyone uh, what have the slide out uh, screen. Uh, on uh, my wife's uh, car the screen is black and uh, there's uh, no music is coming but uh, you don't see anything from there. But yeah. Typically there are two wires uh, broken in there, but uh, I will have to take it apart and uh, see if it's uh, what I'm thinking. And uh, if it's uh, that, then it's a simple fix. But yeah, uh, I will uh, open the uh, parts around the screen and I will show you step by step uh, what uh, nut goes where. And uh, let's uh, open this and uh, let's see, is it uh, what I am thinking about? I will show you before uh, what di what did I mean. I will turn off the power. Music is playing, but the screen is black. So let's start uh, taking everything apart. Uh, first, you need to remove this part, then the other part in this side. Then uh, you can uh, remove the chrome trim, what is here. Then uh, you have to pop up these uh, places here, here. And uh, then uh, you can uh, screw, unscrew uh, the bolts under there. I will show you in a step, but let's start dismantling. For uh, removing the trims, I'm always using my plastic trim removal. Like you see, it has uh, seen some days <laughs> about worn, but yeah, just uh, push it down there and uh, just pull it out. There are clips behind it, uh, like you see, there are no bolts. Then uh, let's take the other one. Mm -hmm. Also the same. Now let's uh, try to remove this part. I will try to pry it from here. I haven't done this before, so this is my first time. It's hard to <laughs> remove them at the same time when I'm trying to film. Let's try to open from this side. I will uh, take this out and uh, I will show you later. I need uh, both of my hands. I took these out. Like you see, the metal ones uh, were holding uh, quite tight. So the, when you pull it out, uh, be gentle. Uh, don't uh, break anything. For this part, uh, you also need a trim tool and uh, you can uh, start uh, from this side and uh, just uh, push the trim uh, removal between the edge and just try to pry it out. I used uh, two tools. Uh, I put uh, one under here and uh, the other one I pulled it from this side. No, from, uh, to this side because uh, I think uh, no one haven't uh, opened this before and the clips were so tight. But yeah, now you need to just pry the other ones open. Be gentle and uh, don't break anything. Yeah, it's very difficult with one hand. I will open this and I will continue. After the trim around this has been removed, then uh, you have one, two, three, and uh, four bolts. These are uh, eight millimeters. And uh, when you take these out, uh, then you can uh, get the monitor out, uh, you can get the vents out. And uh, yeah, let's start taking them out.
after uh, all the bolts are removed then uh, this vent part comes out in uh, one piece you don't have to remove it no uh, you don't have to remove that uh, chrome trim or something just pull it from one side like you see the <laughs> monitor also wants to come out already because they are bo both loose and uh, now i have to see where it's holding some ah here this side there is a clip you have to unplug it yeah, again one hand <laughs> I will unplug it. After unplugging this, then you can take this part out and you can just place it on the side. You don't have to take them out, but if you want, then you can take this socket also. And one socket is down there, but uh, it's glued, so I don't want to remove it. Uh, then you can remove this part. This is the entire screen part. And uh, probably the culprit is uh, somewhere inside uh, this. But uh, I have to think uh, how can I remove it uh, without destroying it too much. I took uh, all the connectors out uh, between the screen. Here you have the antenna plug. It was uh, quite a fiddling job to take it out. Then you have one connector here. The one connector was here. And uh, I took uh, all of them uh, out. This is the power cable. Uh, it goes uh, through here. And uh, probably the fault is somewhere here. I will uh, try to open the clip and uh, get this uh, out so I can uh, just peel the tape out and uh, I have the same tape so I will replace it and uh, fix this part and uh, take uh, apart as much as uh, little as possible like you see I you know, move this clamp a uh, little bit down I peel this part off and uh, this is the main culprit uh, the two wires are no, the insulation is broken and uh, probably they are shorted out and uh, I think maybe the one fuse is already blown also but uh, I will try I will uh, fix it and uh, let's see if the fuse is broken uh, then I will show uh, what fuse you need to fix I checked the wires uh, the wires are no, the brown wire is uh, normal uh, it's just uh, isolation wire but uh, the plus uh, wire I don't see I don't know if it's vis visible but uh, it's uh, almost uh, broken and uh, I would still uh, cut both these connections and uh, take the soldering and uh, put the thermal installation on and uh, put solder everything back together I think uh, this is the best uh, job for this and uh, then I think uh, it will last uh, longer than I will just put uh, tape on it. I cut the wires, but uh, before you start uh, soldering, put the uh, thermo adhesive uh, on the wire so you won't uh, forget it uh, after you solder it all together. But yeah, now I will. Uh, I could cut these uh, wires, I will uh, solder them together, put uh, thermo adhesive and put uh, uh, tape like it was in the original and I didn't have to cut the uh, main uh, isolation that was good but uh, now let's start uh, soldering like you see I soldered uh, the two wires together now I will put the thermo adhesive uh, isolation on and uh, heat it up and uh, then it's time to put everything back together now the wires are fixed again and uh, I hope it will last a long time and uh, now I will put the uh, original uh, cover on and uh, then uh, put the clamp and everything uh, together and uh, I hope uh, it will uh, last a long time. For the clip part, I no, when I took it out I just uh, no, moved it and uh, pulled it out 
But uh, now I just uh, opened this uh, little clip and uh, I can uh, put it uh, back on the original uh, isolation. And now I put the original tape and uh, everything is like it came from the factory. And uh, nothing is broken and uh, I didn't cut anything. So this is a little tip also. So it's the moment of truth. Let's see. Music is playing, but uh, no screen, no no uh, picture. Like I told in the beginning, it's probably the fuse, but uh, yeah, the wires are fixed and I will put uh, uh, everything uh, back together here and uh, I will uh, check the fuse and uh, probably this helps. You need to check the fuse on the right side. If you have a left-hand drive car and uh, the right side, you need to check the A2. This is the A pillar and uh, I will take this out. And come out this out and uh, this is the second fuse. No, like you see, like I told, it uh, shortened the fuse and uh, it broke. Now I will just uh, put a new one, then uh, let's see it again. Like you see, I put everything back together and uh, I put the fuse in, so let's try it again. Uh, try number two. Like you see, it's working. No? My door is open, that's why it's uh, shouting. <laughs> Like you saw, it was a little job, but uh, it fixed the problem and I hope it will uh, last a long time. So the wires are now connected and I put uh, extra tape uh, against them so they won't, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe wear out uh, in a couple of years. <laughs> Let's hope not, but yeah, at least if uh, they wear, then uh, now even you know uh, how to fix it. and. Uh, Share this video with the other Audi A6 uh, C7 owners, if you know anyone and uh, who are dealing with the same problem. But yeah, like usual, hit like, hit subscribe and uh, feel free to comment uh, if you know uh, what, to, to, what to say and uh, maybe some good words and no, it uh, helps my channel a lot uh, if you go and uh, comment and uh, like and everything like this. But yeah, see you soon in the next video. Bye.